Hey, this is Andrew Brown. We are taking a look at GitHub Flow. So this is a lightweight workflow for multiple developers working on a single repo. There's a lot of variations on this. Uh, so this is not a technically perfect description of it, but there really isn't one. And I wanna show you a really old graphic. Um, I don't know how old this is, but I've seen this and older ones, maybe all the way back to 2008 at least. And I remember before GitHub Flow because GitHub came, or sorry, Git came out in 2005 and it took a few years to gain adoption. So for a long period, for a few years, we just had a mess of stuff. And then somebody came up with this, maybe it was GitHub, I'm not sure, but uh, it's called the GitHub Flow. And um, here we have a bunch of branches and it looks very similar to the one that I showed you in Git branch. It's a little bit different. And so the big difference is that, well, first of all, uh, we don't call it master anymore, we call it main, but my main was the develop branch. And then I would call this branch master, I would have called it production because I think that makes more sense. And a lot of people do that these days, but when it first came out, this is how we were doing it. Okay, so understand this variation. But the idea is that you have this one branch I call it main, this is develop, and it holds things that um, that uh, that hold feature branches or hotfixes and everything. It's basically like rolls everything up, but it's not in production yet. And so the idea is that when these things are ready for um, production, you can push them out into a release branch. A release branch could be also called staging. That's normally what we call uh, today. And this could be where it would roll out. So once you push stuff here, this could go out and execute a CI CD pipeline and it would set up a staging environment so that QA could be done on it or any kind of load balancing could be done on it or stress testing um, there. And the idea is that as developers, you would open up feature branches off of develop. And as you complete them, they would come back in here uh, and they would get merged in. And then when things were really ready, you take it, take it from uh, release branches and push it out to your production branch, which they're calling uh, here uh, master. If for whatever reason you had a serious problem you had to fix really quickly, you could um, uh, create a branch off a of master into the hotfixes and then merge it back in, skipping all the stuff down below. Uh, you know, again, I wouldn't do it this way anymore. I would be surprised if companies are sticking uh, to this method, but this is the original way. And I just wanted to show you that there is variation. Um, and you know, a lot of people do skip having a release branch and they'll just deploy often and into production. So it's gonna be really dependent on your team. So here we'll just kind of loosely describe GitHub Flow. You create a branch for each new task or feature, create a new branch off the main branch. Add commits, make changes and commits commit them to your branch, open a pull request, start a discussion about your commits, reviewing code in the pull request, discuss and review, share your pull request with teammates for feedback, deploy, test your changes in production environment. Um, so, yeah. Oh, and the last thing would be merge. So once your changes are verified, merge them into the main branch. So that's the general concepts of it, and hopefully that makes sense, and we will see you in the next one.